friends welcome to my workplace at ranaghat west bengal india this is an intumescent cataract and in this case i have decided to do small incision cataract surgery use a muscle hook to push the eyeball down hold the superior rectus tendon and pass a superior rectus bridal suture experts may not need this suture but the young surgeons who are learning SICS this is very much essential for them now do conjunctival peritomy from 10 30 o'clock to 1 30 o'clock about 3 o'clock hours this is the superior aspect of the globe conjunctiva and tenons are taken together and peritomy is done for about three clock hours and now a very mild weight field cautery is done the assistant keeps putting the ring lactate or BSS drop by drop and you do the Whitfield cautery. Take care not to do too much cautery, not to destroy too many blood vessels. Now this is the main incision of about six millimeter. This is a fifteen number Bart Parker blade. Now use the crescent blade, go to a certain depth, about half thickness of sclera and now go forward. At the central part, go forward into clear cornea and now sweep to the left and backward. In this way, make half of the tunnel from center to the left side yes the tunnel to the left is made and now the tunnel to the right side sweep backward and to the right and the tunnel is nicely made and there is no premature entry a very beautiful tunnel now capsulorexis is to be done in this case this is a side port at 9 o'clock and air bubble is injected and now tripan blue 0.06 percent dye is applied over the anterior capsule underneath this air bubble this is adrenaline and now here goes the dye. Now see, the area where the air bubble is, that much area of the anterior capsule is getting stained. And the area where the air bubble was not there, that area is not nicely stained. This indicates that if we stain under air bubble then staining is immediate if we stain in aqueous staining is not immediate and now this is only 2.8 millimeter entry i don't want to open the tunnel at this moment i'm incising the anterior capsule and see what happens lot of fluid comes out through this puncture site so this is an intumescent cataract with high intralenticular pressure and in these cases it is always to do two stress rexes this is a small rexes then we reduce the intralenticular pressure and then enlarge the rexes but it is not foolproof in this case we are going to see that while enlarging the rexis, the rexis 
goes to periphery. The reason is the intralenticular pressure was not reduced nicely to certain level. And now visco is injected. This is 2% hydroxypropyl methyl cellulose. And then a vana scissor is taken. A cut at the margin of this mini axis is made at 9 o'clock. And now I take the iterator forceps, go anti clockwise, and enlarge this rexis to about 5.5 to 6 millimeter. And now see what happens from this point. From here, as I hold it and pull it, it goes to periphery. Since this is SICS, it doesn't matter. But if it were a fecal emulsification, we had to convert this case to SICS for safe surgery. And now the tunnel is to be opened from one end to the other end. We have entered into the anterior chamber through the tunnel for only 2.8 millimeter. Now see how to enlarge the wound. Engage and cut as you go forward. In this way you maintain the corneal valve very nicely. And now I'm going to prolapse this nucleus into anterior chamber. For this, I'm going to take two Sinsky hooks. One goes below and the other at the equator and the nucleus prolapses into anterior chamber. Since there is extension of rexis, I didn't do hydro dissection or hydroprolapse. And now I'm going to use an irrigating vectus to deliver this nucleus and see how beautifully you can deliver this nucleus if the wound is adequate. And all the cortical matter comes out just by irrigating fluid into the anterior chamber. Not all, most of the epinucleus and cortex. And now I'm going to use a 23 gauze Simcoe cannula to clean the rest of the cortex. I'm just irrigating some bases to clean the anterior chamber and now the visibility is better. Now I'm going through the side port and removing the cortex from superior aspect. and see how beautifully the cortex comes. When you can't see, you just have to sweep it and aspirate to catch hold of the cortical matter. We have to be careful at this time. We can inject visco and then go through the main end we must see that the entry chamber should not collapse. So cleaning of the cortical matter is complete and now this is visco to fill up the AC and the capsular bag and now this is a PMMA 5.25 millimeter optic intraocular lens. We should put 6 millimeter, but that lens was not in stock. We had only this 5.25 millimeter optic intraocular lens in stock. The lens has gone in the capsular bag and now cortex and now the visco is being removed by irrigation of the anterior chamber and the capsular 
back. Friends, FECO is a beautiful surgery, but SICS is also a nice surgery. In many parts of the world, FECO machine is not available in many hospitals, in many setups. If we can do beautiful SICS in those areas, many patients will get good vision. Thousands of patients will regain beautiful vision. The antechamber has been formed. There is no leakage from the side port. And now we have to oppose the conjunctiva to the limbus. One way is this. Subconjunctival gentamicin and dexamethasone near the insertion of superior rectus. There is chemosis. We are doing this chemosis for a position of conjunctiva to the limbus. And then the superiectus brittle suture is removed and the case is concluded. Thank you very much. This video is dedicated to the residents, ophthalmology residents of developing countries and the colleagues of developed countries because in many situations you cannot do FACO surgery. You have to learn this manual technique. Thank you very much for your attention.